advantage. And, and Gable said coming into this, I'm bigger, I'm stronger, and I am better than ever. And it's like, okay, is this part of like, you know, the WWE gimmick you right. talk yourself? No, no, no. He is. He was telling the truth. And now we are underway. 125 kilogram finals in the red. That's Gable Stevenson taking on Nick Gwizdowski in the blue. There's wow. a snap. He's in right away as Gable Stevenson finishes with the double leg. 2 0 Gable right Ten away. Seconds. Ten seconds, all it took. His speed to the leg is insane. How he can find angles, drop in, and finish, it's just incredible. Pulls his hips in, gets his head up, back straight. Just if you're, if you're coaching against this guy, what, what do you even do? What do you even tell someone? I have to ask Mike Gray and Frank Pirelli. And, and Nick Wisdowski is someone who has beaten Gable Stevenson. He beat him at Final X 2019, but since that time, Gable has grown literally and figuratively as a, as a man and a wrestler. He has not tasted defeat for quite some time. Good level changes. Wiz takes a little bit of ground. What was his last loss? Was it Quiz? 2019? Yes, I believe so. Final X New Jersey, I believe. And they're gonna hit Gwizdowski for passivity, his first warning. But if nothing else, you know, give up that first take and they're like, oh geez, but Quiz kinda settled the pace a little bit for the time being. The problem is for Quiz, when you have to attack and fire, Gable is just so good at knocking your head down and dropping into the leg like he almost did there. Yeah, good job by Nick, not allowing the reattack. Take a little victories where you can get them. Gable on that collar tie. Good level changes, now gets, oh wow. Dives right in on the double, finishes around the body. 4-0. And you know, Nick forced to face down because Gable wraps around that body, and if he doesn't, he could go for a ride. Yeah, you gotta live to fight another day in that position. Gable is gonna always look to go feet to back from there, so if you don't dive down and get your, your belly on the mat, you could give up four. And heavyweight, 125, the, the last weight. Also another weight where nobody is sitting in final X, no world medalist last year, and Gable's gonna score another takedown, six nothing. So the winner of this will move to final X, and then we'll have this weight contested at the world team trials to figure out the opponent. Down block, go behind to the right. How many times have we seen Gable do that over the years? He just adds one so methodical, and it's not easy to do that against Nick Wazowski. This guy's a two-time NCAA champion. He's a world medalist. Wiz is really, really good, but Gable is just levels above, very literally, the earth. <sighs> 25 to go here in the first period. Tied up in the middle, Gable breaks free. See if he looks to add to his lead in the closing seconds here of the first period. That'll do it for the first 6-0 Gable after one. And this is the last match of the evening and not a soul has left. You know, if you've been to a lot of wrestling duels, you know, you get a one heavyweight match, they start, oh, let me beat the trap and this and that. No, nah, not when Gable Stevenson's on the mat. They want to see him win, they want to see uh. Well, the runway's open here. The backflip. There's, there's only one mat going right now, so he can get a full head of steam here. He, he hinted, he toyed with the crowd last night, basically taunting them, asking if they wanted a backflip, and they applied, or excuse me, cheered, applauded, and... Uh, Shot attempt there from Gwiz, but now goes left in, right again. Does Gable, fights in, is that gonna be four? Four offered, two, two confirmed, and four, and Good that's night. the match. 10-0, Cable Stevenson. Oh, here we and go. going to be a challenge. Okay. So, ultimately they could look at this and say, hey, there was two, not four. I thought four, but we'll get to see, get to see it again and make sure. All right, so we'll take, take a another look. look. 
Huh? It shouldn't take long, at least. Two red. Okay, it's not. So the brick's going back. It's 8 0. All right, so Gable will need two more. Parterre. Is Gable going to cut him like he did uh, Petrius Fili in the Olympic Finals? <laughs> six seconds to go, or left, what was it? Yeah, I think six. Yeah, he's not going to try. No. Nope. But yeah, basically he cut him. All right, here we go. Gable's a takedown away. There's a shot from Gwiz Gwizdowski diving in. Deep as he's been in this whole match, has this his hands locked. This is his locked. position. Watch, he's going to look to try to pop his head to the outside. Gable's hips are so big and heavy. He's so good with him. Smothers that head. Gable was smart not trying to run to an angle because that's when Gwiz pops his head out and can finish. So that's one of Gwiz's best positions. Fakes from Gwizdowski, but Gable doesn't bite. There's a shot in deep again as Nick Gwizdowski sprawled on top. Heavy hits from Gable Stevenson. They'll blow him back up once more. Gwiz able to get to legs, but finishing another story. Back to that underhook is Gable. Now he's in on that high crotch. He's lifted. He's got to put him down to get two, and there it is. 10-0, Cable Stevenson completes his dominant run through the U.S. Open, and he will wrestle in Final X June 10th. But before that, I got a feeling he's gonna do some acrobats, acrobatics. I wouldn't log off just yet, folks. He's got some formalities to go through here. Shaking Mike Gray, Frank Pirelli, 